What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo and in today's video I'm coming at you with another custom Patreon request. This one is coming straight to us from Emily. Emily, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting the page on Patreon and for choosing more 5 seconds of summer to be your monthly custom request because in today's video we're checking out a song that I don't think I've heard. I listened to all the albums except for some of the um, singles and rarities. But I don't remember checking out the song Wrapped Around Your Finger. If I did, please let me know. Maybe I'll remember it when I start listening to this. I listened to all their stuff in like one week and that's a lot to take in. But we're checking out the live version. This was from How Did We End Up Here, the DVD. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. Before we do, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are always in the description. And with all those things out of the way, I am pretty fucking excited for this. I love Five Seconds of Summer Live. If you're tuning into this video, then you know that I did a five seconds of summer live video a couple videos ago. Um, and it was San Francisco and it was fucking tight. And we're gonna do this one now. Let's go. So it rocks at your window at midnight. See, here's the thing. I feel like me and Michael would get along so well when it comes to music. I feel like we could talk bands all day. Um, I'm sure all of them have influences like that, but Michael in particular just seems like we grew up listening to a lot of this, a lot of similar bands. And I say that one because I always try to check out what band shirts he has on when he performs live, but two. Listen to the influence and the vocals. It gives me so many just amazing pop punk and emo vibes. One of the biggest reasons that some of the first albums of Five Seconds of Five Seconds of Summer are just so important to me. So it rocks at your window at midnight. Met me in your backyard at night. I fucking love harmonies. Crazy to me how much Callum's vocals stand out amongst the harmony. I've noticed that in a, a video prior too, but I don't know if it's just the range that he sings in or the fact that he puts so much strength behind those vocals, but I always can select his vocals at like so much higher than everyone else's. It's pretty fucking cool. You Uh, that voice crack from Luke just now is fucking tight. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm starting this over. There's so many good like Ashton drum fills here. Until at midnight, at me in your back 
don't know why I haven't heard this, especially listening to almost everything. I'm like really bright. My ring light is all fucked up. You guys have probably noticed that in the last couple of videos. Um, I don't know why this isn't actually released on, at least not on the streaming services that I use, especially when I made my videos. I would have loved to have been able to check out a recorded version of this. Uh, if I did, I do not remember the song at all, but I think I would have because there's some really great harmonies here and I definitely would have remembered Ashton's drum fills here. So I'm very... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to find this song, but I'm sure one of you guys will send it to me. Okay, this band is so good live. I feel like everything that I like about this band is just intensified when I watch live performances. And I think it's because even listening to those albums, despite the production and all those other things going on, I always felt deep down like this is what the experience would be like. They are a rock band first and foremost. Sure, they edge on pop rock these days, but they grew up playing punk and pop punk and fucking all the things that I loved. Um, from like the early 2000s, they were doing in 2014 again. And I've made it very clear so many times that all those sounds that they were doing, if this band, if they would have all been 10 years older in the early 2000s, they would have been making it big off of that sound alone. But I've talked about how the evolution of their music was great for the fact that their musicianship continues to grow, their vocals continue to grow, their experimentation, they, they get everything so much tighter. So as they continue to mature, their music matures, their sound matures, and we get something like Calm, which is fucking incredible. That is, to hear a band go from pop punk to releasing Calm is amazing. And you have to appreciate that journey. I do believe you can appreciate each album for what it is, but if you look at that journey over time, it's fucking incredible. But I imagine that despite Calm having such a different sound than this, when they tour on that record, and you can bet that I'm going to be there because I need to fucking see this band live. I can't just do it on YouTube videos. It's a band that you actually have to experience live. I really want to see this energy when they play um, songs off Calm because I can think of a few songs right away that I saw them do the live vault versions for that were so incredible. So when you watch something like this, I, I pick up those nostalgic vibes right away and I pick up what, you know, a lot of the things that they loved growing up and what they were inspired by. They put on a great stage performance. It helps that they're all amazing musicians anyways, but all that chemistry comes together on stage. You can tell these guys really actually like each other. At least they did here in 2015. It just seems like there is so much great chemistry happening and you just, you get moments again with the crowd. I talk about that a lot with them, but they have such a big fan base that their music is heard from so many people. So when people see them live, that entire stadium is singing. And a band like this, getting that same attention is fucking awesome because they're playing live instruments, they're doing all this really great stuff and giving us energy. And the fans are just gonna feed off that and give us this incredible performance. So I cannot wait to dive even further into their live performances. And I literally can't wait for live music again because I'd love to see this band live. Emily, I just wanna say thank you so much for choosing this to be your monthly custom request and for supporting my page. It means the world to me. I really hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are always in the description. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.